Okay, we just went 200 in the quarter, um, and what better way to follow that up than with 200 in the eighth? Okay, I have an exciting, exciting adventure for you guys that I literally had no idea was happening. But as you guys saw in the 55 videos, Patrick Miller came down um, and helped us tune per Ryan's request. And we had a great time. And then the opportunity came up. He said, do you want to drive the car? And I thought it was a joke, but they do radio versus the world. They've got the bumblebee cars and it's not a joke. And we are at the shop right now. And that means we're going Radio versus the world racing at Donald Long Sweet 16 coming up like right now. Like we drove exactly from Florida to the shop so we could fit in the car and test. It's it's gonna be wild. This is not a joke. I'm pumped. Are you guys pumped? Oh yeah. More words in this video than I'm in the pumped. 55 videos? Are we warming <laughs> up here? Okay, so tell tell about the car because before we like dive into it, give the background here. So it actually used to be Steve Jackson's NHRA Pro Mod. We got it when RVW started getting out of control and we've had to park the old car. Ran it as an EFI screw deal for a while. It was the first belt driven supercharger car to the 50s in RVW. And uh, when we went back Pro 275 race and decided we're going to get with Precision Turbo here and make a run at the fastest turbo car in the world. So that's what we got now. The goal is mid 350s at over 220. Ah! Okay. So um, this is pretty exciting. Are it's you excited? Hemi. I'm excited. I think he's got a Hemi. He's got a Hemi. <laughs> and turbos that will eat small children. <laughs> They're pretty big. So this literally came up, what day were we at the track? How did this, actually Ryan and Patrick hinted at this. I didn't even catch it. Um, I really don't know how it came up. <laughs> I just heard something about it for the great line. We're just here. <laughs> yeah. So you knew about it on Friday, Friday like literally just a couple days ago. It's like Friday night. Friday night. And then Ryan hinted at it to me, Patrick hinted at it to me. And then the next day he's like, do you want to drive it? I'm like, well, yeah, but is that a real question? Of course you want to drive. Um, yeah, if the offer is like real and it stands, then heck yeah, I'm down. So this is super cool. So we drove from Florida. Um, we dropped the 55 off here last night and uh, came back to the shop today. And we are going to go testing today, I'm pretty sure, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. That means that's, plan. that's to so like that today. You can get a test hit before you actually get thrown into This the is field. literally trial by fire. Yep. She goes from shifting, you know, a three speed by hand, now she's got five speeds and like three times more power. <laughs> so <laughs> you can go the same speed you went, probably, and but you have to <laughs> Hopefully, we go more speed than that. Oh, it's insane. So I had, like I said, this is like, I said, I'm kind of glad that I didn't have enough time to think about it. Because if I had enough time to think about it, it would probably scare me. Yeah, you don't want to hear what he just said. Oh, gosh. It'll be fine. <laughs> Sounds... It'll all work out. The seat's actually pretty close, so we're putting padding in here and um, just getting it a little bit closer for me. And then we're going to head out today. i got to figure out how this monster right here works and figure out how to go in reverse and forward and all that it shifts itself but it's going to be a lot of fun it's pretty neat too because we got a lot of the same companies that we work with with the holly and precision and pro torque and qa1 so lots and lots of great companies that we're like both both working with so pretty neat pretty neat we're plotting what are you plotting you'll find out we are going to be doing this, and then we're heading to, um, what day are we heading toward, to Georgia? Um, probably tomorrow night or Thursday morning. So, eventually. <laughs> and a little bitty like guy. skateboard tire, and there's no bars out there. I know. According to this guy, there's lots of built-in stuff to keep it from yeah. I know. a real bumblebee. I said, I don't want to get yeah, my pilot's we're license. We're going to prevent this car from doing what that car has done. So uh, this car will be here as at, at the event as well. Um, Jeff will be driving this one. So we'll have both bumblebees. Yeah, full beehive. Full beehive is going to be there. And I get to try 
to operate this Liberty transmission. There's quite a few steps, right? <laughs> oh, it's simple. It is, you just gotta remember it. It's not pulling a lever back and forth. It's push this trigger, pull that trigger, push this button. Flip this button, click until you don't see lights. Don't worry Flip about the lights. lights. Stand on your right foot. Okay. So you want me to just start? Fire it up and then we'll pull it outside and then warm it up from there. So we just got to start that and I got to back it up and pull it forward, which sounds simple, but as you can see, there is no shifter. That lever that's right there is reverse and then that is forward gears and then that's the shift. But when you're making a pass, you don't shift, you just do that. The one on this side, the little switch on this side when you're doing a burnout. So we'll go over all that, but um, that was what we were working on was feeling a spool and bump and and getting the hang of that and then we actually just found out we get to test tomorrow but right now they're going to start the blower car because this is also going too um so jeff miller who's patrick's dad drives this car um i think he typically drives this one as well griffin steinfelters drove this as well um so both cars are going so we're gonna start that and then test with that one tomorrow Oh, please somebody through. Yes. Okay. We are on the road. I've been asleep. Apparently we've been driving for seven million hours. Yeah, it's like a four hour trip. Hours. It's been like thirty minutes, I think. No, <laughs> you're thirty Carolina thirty minutes are different than Arkansas thirty minutes. Well we're almost there though. It's, so. Well I don't know. See here's that. the high school we're passing. I mean we're good to go. Anyways. You had a nice nap I had a great while, nap. while we're on this road. I had a great nap. We'll be at the racetrack here in about five minutes Meeting for her to do a little testing. Multiply uh, it by three, add two for padding. Um, but we are headed there, and then Duck's race actually starts in less than 24 hours. Patrick's I think it's already not, started. Patrick's not in a hurry. We're going to get there. We'll be there in time for Q1. Uh, oh, nothing like Give or take 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the tailgate run to the lanes yeah i mean she's gonna tow the blower car to the lanes with the turbo car and everything will be relaxed good or anything don't give me any time to think about it okay <laughs> <laughs> drag racing is an experience yeah it's not just a spur of the moment thing it's an experience it's not just a spur of the moment thing well somebody taught us wrong <laughs> you're supposed to slow down and relax so you can drive well I've been relaxed for like a week now and I'm going nuts. Yeah, Dad's been <laughs> just obnoxious today. He's more obnoxious when he has nothing to do than when he has something to oh, do. Oh, I've had nothing to do for a week. <laughs> it's been like three no. days. Last week there was too much work on the 55. This week there's too not enough work. We did too much work on the race cars in one day. We should have spaced it out. It's been yeah. kind of boring. Anyways, so we're almost the track. I'm gonna make a pass, and uh, it'll just be mainly to get the sequence of this transmission down. And if anybody, you know how bad people beat me up over my phone bouncing? They're gonna love your video. Man. I really don't care. <laughs> I 
mean my arm's getting tired, to be quite honest. <laughs> All right. We'll let it go. Oh, we're stopping. Is this a track? No. No. No, it's, it's another Toyota track. in the way. It's another, it's another South Carolina molasses. Oh, I mean, it's like, they're, they're like molasses in the wintertime. Well, the rule is you have to stop before you turn, apparently. Oh, well, evidently. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be there sooner than later. <laughs> if we don't die. Okay. We are at, I believe they said Carolina track. We have gone back and forth so many times trying to avoid the rain, um, picking tracks. And so that's where I believe we ended up at. Back this out. Once I get one pass under me, I'm going to feel good. Like, I'll feel good at that point. Um, just knowing a little bit more of what to expect. So glad it's not just trial, trial by fire, but it's like halfway trial by fire. There's water there to put it out in case. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna sit down and do a pre-race. Ignore all these little glares. It's because I dropped my phone and my screen protector has crack in it, but we'll fix that before we continue. So anyway, something that I want to discuss, because that behind us is a lot of car. It is definitely a lot of car. Yeah. But something that we were noticing as after we posted, we didn't know how people would receive it. This came to be really quick. Yeah. Like the idea of doing this was like that. And so some people were concerned about like the rapid progression. But something I wanted to talk about is how like, literally between the 55 and a pro mod, we don't have a step. Like no, the 55 I mean, is the intermediate. Yeah, the 55 essentially would compete in top sportsmen. The next step up would be pro mod. Going this direction, you're going from a tire that moves around to something that's more stable. So it's a safer way to go about getting to the ET. I think people hear though radial tire and they think small tire and then it like makes them think that it's going to be more of a handful yeah. um but that's actually opposite yeah i mean a well set up radial car is one of the safest things you can race it doesn't move around it just you goes don't. down the racetrack it's like driving your daily car yeah i don't know if you guys remember back when we were um working on the 55 and like i was learning to drive it and i was like talking about having to get used to the big tire and the big tire yeah. walk the camaro the nova they were all radial cars um, and so like switching over to the big tire because somebody actually asked me they said don't you just drive big tire cars It's like I've only driven the 55 for like a year Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that's more of a learning curve than going this direction. The big tires is weird. Yeah, so uh, The thing is we're not gonna go out and make a record setting pass like obviously on the no. first time out This is we even discussed we're like if we just go out and make however many successful qualifying laps that like we're good because yeah. that was originally going to be our testing like we're good with that yeah. so All right, we're gonna go out there and take it slow to start with make a half track run and then we'll just keep going a little further half track of half track yeah my half track, not <laughs> half track. <laughs> so we're gonna make a 330 hit um the main thing is is getting the i keep talking to them um and once we get the car back talk about like the transmission sequence but can you explain what the transmission is and the fact that it's like how, the setup there and what we're working with okay so it's got a lock up bruno with a five speed liberty break so. it down in layman's terms so you have an automatic yeah like, you, you have a combined. converter drive driving what's essentially a giant motorcycle transmission so there's no clutches it's got a bunch of sliders and they interlock so no, so, we don't have to worry about burning box. up any clutches this week. It's literally a gearbox. Yeah. It's a manual transmission with a torque converter in front of it. Yeah. Yep. But that manual transmission has to be under power to stay in gear, right? Yeah. Anytime it changes gear, it overruns the previous gear. So, so, so there's some technique to driving it, and that's basically what you're doing before you get yeah. thrown right into the mix. Like literally, I said, we're like still getting thrown into the fire, but we got a little bit of water to put it out here. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> We can back up and do it again. There, we're right in front of the, right yeah. in the middle of it all. Um, so the thing is, is like, there's not a shifter. I showed that yesterday. We literally have uh, switches. You shift here with a toggle switch. I have, yeah, I, that's your little toggle switch as she goes in there. <laughs> I, uh, it, it's a sequence, you'll see. Her favorite part's the reverse handle though. It's pretty cool. I mean, there's no shifter, but you grab there's reverse. There's one lever and it's for one gear, and that's just to back up. That's to back up. And yeah. literally in the burnout, you just beep, 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 and It's not that beep. simple. You don't just back up. I know, I made that You gotta so. bump the bump bar, or the, the yep. trans brake in order to get it out of gear. Yeah. So it's, it's quite, the, quite a handful. It's definitely a little more of a learning curve than a Turbo 400. Yeah, we're definitely... 
We like to make it complicated around here. That's why we want to do this, because it's fun, it's cool, it's yeah. complicated. Well, you know, the other thing is, is when we did do the 55, think about the 55 step up from the Camaro to the 55. Yeah, that's a big that's step. That's a huge step. That's a that huge step. 50, you were, yeah, you were running your, your fastest batch was like 830 or something. Yeah. And then now you're 730. Well, yeah. You're and, and from and a radial tire to a big tire. And that was literally riding them, throwing in the fire too. Like, I didn't really get it. But with that said, we also played it safe. We were like, if it's not a good pass, we lift kind of deal. It's not a big deal. Um, and I think there's a lot of new people that are joining. I have almost 10 years of holy crap experience. 10 years of driving experience under my belt like anything can happen but even in a slower car you learn how to react to stuff um that translates to a faster car so it's not like i'm just going out uh brand new no. in a car so we'll uh we'll just trial by fire you guys are gonna learn how to drive a pro mod with a radio with a liberty Five speed uh, turbo car right along with me. So, with Bruno. With Bruno. Yep. So, a what? A huh? A who? A where? A Bruno who? I asked that yesterday too. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? I got the concept, but didn't know it. Um, so anyways, we're backing it out. We're going to back it out when this wet stuff, this uh, R word that we can't say, no. snow. When the snow goes away. Melted snow. This <laughs> melted snow Free goes melted. away. We're going to back it out, and we're going to put some GoPros in, and I think we're going to just make a pass, and if we make it to the 3.30 and I don't screw stuff up, we're going to load it back up and head, head to, to Georgia. 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 Okay. It's the move. guys first hit um we're probably literally just gonna do a 60 foot hit we're gonna get the burnout get this transmission under control and then do a um just like a 60 foot and we might work up to a 330 tonight but um we don't really have a lot of time so we're probably gonna make a 60 think about it maybe a 330 tbd but this is the first time ah, i'm in my suit so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun but i'm ready to get it done Um, that went pretty good, pretty good. Reverse with the Liberty is not easy. I don't care what you say, it's not easy, it's complicated, but we will get it figured out. I have hit it before, um, but basically we got three test hits. Um, the first two, it just spun immediately, and then the second one, we made it a little way. It's not super far, but gave me an idea. Got much better with my burnout. Um, got a feel for the car. I'm doing good for once. Dad can attest, I am chill, cool as a you cucumber. You just had a nap. That doesn't make sense. I didn't get a nap. That is not what I said. I said for once, Dad can attest that I'm cool as a cucumber. She's good to go. I'm fine. I scared everybody else. Actually, I didn't scare anybody else. I didn't scare anyone else. You did awesome. We're fine. We're good. So, we are headed to Georgia, but... um. We are on South Carolina minutes. Yeah. So we're leaving within 30. 
That oh. means it'll be All next right. week when we get to. <laughs> we, there. we might make it. We made progress. Um, I think qual or t what do you guys call it? Qualifying is that first? Yeah, qualifying. So qualifying starts at like noon, and uh, it's it's mid one o'clock. We're five hours out, and for some it's like reason, two. whatever. Oh, two o'clock. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. And Patrick thought we had all had it's time two. for a nap. We had time for a nap. Dad is about to walk a circle in the floor. <laughs> I've been doing that all week. <laughs> he said, he's only said today, I want to go home about 10 times. I want to go home. <laughs> I can't wait to be in my own bed. This has been a long two months. <laughs> it's not been two months. <laughs> yeah, it has been. Maybe Carolina months. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to finish loading up the... A uh, blower car is on a flatbed trailer behind a motorhome. A motorhome, somebody's motorhome. I guess friends. we'll see it there sometime tomorrow. It might. It'll it be might there before us. Might not. It'll be there before us. We're in line for tech, so I did not know I'd be doing this a week ago, but it's pretty cool.
Okay, so that was freaking incredible. So I was so nervous going into that pass because I was fine. I was totally fine, calm, cool, and collected. And then I think my calmness for once, because you guys know I'm the most high-strung person ever, my calmness I think made everybody else calm, nervous. And so then that, finally once I like strapped it, once they said RVW to the lanes, like butterflies just got shoo. It got me, and I was like, ah, and stressed in the car. I was nervous. It's a totally different experience because you can't see that much. Like you cannot see that much, and so started all these little things getting through my head. And I wanted to hit reverse, and uh, like that was awesome. I I went out and did my burnout. It looked good. I haven't even seen it yet, but it felt good. Um, and then like reverse is what I was struggling with, and I hit reverse, and the thing was back it up, and I was like, heck yeah! And so um, then made the pass, bumped in. Felt great. Launch. Decided to let off. We wanted to let off right there, past the grandstands, because we got a crosswind, and just to make sure everything's good. And car was going straight. Was pulling right before, and now it's going straight. And uh, that was awesome. That was just like that was the most fun. So it wasn't a fast pass. It was like a 119 60 foot, but my reaction time sucked. It was like a 199, but I had to think about a lot of things right there. Now we can focus, and that was just that was a good time. So next pass. Next pass, we're gonna be ready. What do you think? That was awesome. You did great. <laughs> and I actually remember the data log. Yeah, you did awesome. I keep you forgetting everything perfect. to record the data log because this is you have to flip the switch. And I actually turned it on that time. So that's, we're making big, that, if for nothing else, that's a big move here. Yeah. Massive. Now we need to see a video of that because that was cool. Okay. Okay, pass one, and I already broke something. Actually, I didn't break that. Uh, we had a little valve spring failure on it. We weren't able to get new valve springs before the race, so. That's not a big deal. Right? Yeah, no big deal. Get ready to put another valve spring on it and be ready for Q2. So he was able to find one because you had only double springs here? Yeah, I actually ended up putting a double on it anyway. I'm I keeping think there this. might be some triples, but um, everybody's still sitting in the staging lanes that might have parts. Perfect. I'm keeping this as my souvenir. Oh yeah, your first broken part. And the yellow part. Hopefully we don't break more parts. We do fix it. There was supposed to be potentially four qual qualifying passes today. Correct? We're going to get like maybe two. I'm hoping for two. And maybe one, huh? Yeah, we may only, but the way this is going out there, it could be one today, but I'm really hoping for two. But that's okay. Yeah, either way. the car where's your little heater <laughs> oh she's perfect <laughs> oh yeah we send that take that back over to r&r &R. there you go and set it on the car i play oh yeah that's right i need to make weight <laughs> hey we are in the lanes for q2 we rolled in pretty late today um we got in at about 10 and I think we were here like 10 minutes. We warmed the car up, suited up, um, and we're in the lanes now. So this won't be a crazy hit, but it will be a full pass, probably a low four somewhere in there. Um, Which is a six second pass. It's gonna be your, should be your fastest pass ever. Should be. So we'll see. The main thing is we'll have another qualifying after, but get one full pass in and see what the rest of the stuff looks like. These shoots automatically throw, so get that under control and figured out. And we uh, should be good to go.
so we just got done with Q2 a few minutes ago. We've already obviously got it on projects and uh, got the bags packed, the shoes packed and everything. But that was incredible. That was so awesome. So that was at 428 at 178, which is my fastest and quickest pass in the eighth mile to date. So pretty freaking awesome. Everything happens so fast. And this has automatic throwing shoots. So that's just wild because it literally, um, like, you don't realize that it's happening and then all of a sudden you're stopping kind of deal. So it's wild. The car sounds like it's coming apart when you're inside of it with the Liberty when you let up, but it, it's a really cool deal. So that was a lot of fun. I'm glad to actually have a pass that was kind of midway. They were shooting for a little faster, which I'll explain why it didn't go that in just a second, but uh, glad to have that. So it's kind of like a mid range. So it's not just a total shock when we do go fast during the run. It actually threw the oil pump belt. So about three seconds in it lost oil pressure. So for about a second, a little over a second, I had no oil pressure on that pass. Here's a towel, Dad. Here. Um, so it actually did hurt this other turbo over on this side. What you thinking? Well, we're going to just roll through the bearings on it and see how it looks. Go from there. I mean, I've got enough parts, so I should be able to fix it either way. So, well, you're probably not going to make Q3, but that's okay. Um, we'll hopefully get another... Hopefully we'll get another one, but if not, we'll still be qualified. And then over here on the blower car, popped the blower off last night. Alex is working hard over there. Uh, didn't actually hurt the blower, but you guys saw it did blow one. No, actually, the header's not here, but this exhaust pipe on the other header just blew it off. So they're getting that all fixed up, and it'll be good to go soon, too. But they are some hard workers and laid-back people. All of them. You guys saw we've been updating blow car had some issues you weren't going to take the cam out but upon further inspecting you saw it did uh which you just went and ground it yep. emery cloth polished it now you're racetrack degreeing it yep now we're degreeing the cam getting ready for i, I believe what's going to end up being first round so hopefully i can have it together in time for the photo but it's qualified well yeah I mean, we're qualified. Seventh? Seventh or eighth, yeah. We should be in the top eight still, so yeah. top half of the Sweet 16. I'm happy with that. Yeah, for sweet. One full run. <laughs> it's pretty wild. But yeah, I guess you have to track you. Do what you gotta do, and that's this. Yeah. Where's that pistol? I gotta see. Oh, this is from yesterday. So, that's the piston with the hole beat in it. Like, I don't know, how many minutes do you have to spare? Oh, I got plenty. <laughs> you don't have any minutes. They've been calling this game for an hour. <laughs> but it works for me. That's pretty awesome. So He's the only guy in the world that it works for. <laughs> so, heading up for a first round of eliminations for the blower car. So, they had it all apart, literally just put it back together. But, should be good. It's okay. So I pushed through the beams and I didn't know why because 
my button, I did it the exact same. But on this, they have a brake controller um, that applies basically CO2 to a cylinder and it basically um, puts brake pressure so I don't have to keep my foot on the brakes as I bump in. And they figured out why, but they had changed something and it was one of the settings and it was just a little different and so it would turn the brake controller off so it would not apply pressure and so it would roll through. So that's why it rolled the beams there. Um, so back to did it again. They weren't gonna turn the tree on, which is totally understandable um, since I rolled the beams in a qualifying run, but they did still let us make the pass. So that way we got the data, but it went out, spun the tires. Um, I got out of it. I'm kind of glad I got to feel it because it makes me a little bit nervous not knowing what that feels like. So I'm kind of glad I got to feel that. Um, so this time we're going to go out. We actually are going into the first round of eliminations and I have a bye run. So um, pass one, we're going to double bulb and we'll deal with this brake controller tomorrow. Um, but this one we like all we have to do is not get a red light. So our goal is to go out, double bulb and get a pass. and. Give it a shot. So there's a chance this could be a fast pass. It could be a three. Um, but the main thing is we want to make it down so that way we make it to round two tomorrow. So this will be the last pass for the night. Sadly though, the lower bumblebee is out. Um, it actually, what they fixed is not the issue. It actually broke a rocker arm stand. They didn't have time. So they're actually running Pro 275 out there right now. And this is parked. But we're getting my car ready and we're going to head up. <laughs> you missed it all by that much. We'll get it tomorrow. But yes. it had the front wheels off the ground forever. And you broke it. Holy crap. I'm like excited, but that goes. It was just by that much. <laughs> Should have put 10 more on the dome. I'm mad. Dad, damn it. You're not as mad as you are. <laughs> I, oh, I was worse. I was mad at the start line. You're like 401. I'm like, but? And you're like 197. I'm like, <laughs> Almost 200 in the eighth, though. Yeah, it was so close. It was fun. After the killer pass of round, last night, um, we're going into eliminations round two this morning. Um, we have a very fast car that we're going to be racing against, and I'm okay with whatever happens because I get to make another pass, so it's a good time. Um, so we're going to see what Patrick has and see what I have, and we'll give it a shot, but we're ready to go. They're calling us already, and we're almost ready. They're changing the tech and drive shaft right now. Yeah, we're, uh, we're getting ready to fire it up and um, tires are good. Cool is full. warm it up and get it to the lines. Until next time, go fast, stay safe, and be pretty. We're getting closer. That wasn't it. That wasn't I even. Honestly that was it. it wasn't. It wasn't. Okay, and that is it for this video. It is a little behind. Obviously, I don't need you guys to tell me. Um, but 
there's been lots of cool stuff happening. We're gonna skip a couple months of videos and get into something fun, which was the Hellcat Grudge match that we built a car in Hot Rod Garage. Uh, we built a 1955 Plymouth Savoy and raced it at the Roadkill Nights Influencer Grudge Match powered by Dodge Direct Connection. Um, and that is coming up, that's the upcoming videos. And then we'll go back to some old stuff. But anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and being kind of patient with me. As always, be happy, go fast and stay pretty. I'll see you guys next time.